so hello and welcome friends so now welcome to the fourth video of the series so here we are going to add the uh, employee details so as you can see the spring is running already and uh, we are getting the all the employee details on the front end which we have done in the previous video now let me like uh, to add a new employee in the this ionic framework uh, so like what we are going to do we need to click on the plus button this plus icons and we are getting the error like uh, add employee is not in the url segment so for that uh, we need to first define the package like uh, we need to add another page so you need to type a command like ionic uh, g page inside employee directory we need to create an another page as add employee so it will uh, create a pages for adding employee and uh, on click on add employee url we will route the request to that page so as you can see the pages are generated successfully and you can see the multiple things uh, like uh, four files are created and uh, the one file is modified which is the updated for app routing module.ts so like on click on add employee we need to route the page to add employee details so we need to do the routing things on the app module.ts file so just add here so like uh, on add employee we need to route the request to my add employee page load children inside import we need to import the file which we have created add employee and insert that add employee page module and then just like same as home and this one just they have defined uh, already home and list we can do the same thing for this also yeah so this much only so as we will uh, create it, this route and whenever the uh, request come for add employee it will call the add employee module and it will uh, load the add employee html page just refresh it and we will see the result it's compiling so this compiled successfully now just go to the browser it is reloading and here you will see the toast and all like same as the notification so we are getting the data to real data from uh, the spring boot and employee details loaded successfully you can see here and uh, whenever i click on add employee it is routing my request to add employee page so now we need to reform it so like before going to service method let me show you my employee rest api so this is the just a presentation in that uh, i have all the operation defined like uh, how my employee api uh, opi is going to work so like uh, it will have the get uh, get post put and delete so get we have done for all employees and uh, that id also we will see in the update function but uh, that post we need to pass the same request on the same request we can we just need to pass the post method with the employee details and it will just add it in that one and in put inside put we need to pass the id to update the employee details and delete we just pass the id and it will delete the employee details so in ionic also we have the get 
post and uh, put and delete function which uh, we will use here so let me add uh, the add uh, employee function in service so this will be the function in that uh, we'll have the employee then we are passing the employee in the http post method to the url the same url we are hitting but we are passing the employee object as well and it will insert in the database so after creating the employee service uh, in that uh, after creating the method which will add the employee we need to create a method inside the app employee page.ts file which will be which will add the details so what we are going to do so we need a employee object here so that we can pass the employee details to the backend and then we want the employee service where we have defined our uh, all the functions then toast controller we want show the notifications So import the toast controller also. And activated route we want to get the details from the URL. Now controller for the navigation purpose like uh, after doing the add employee we need to route the page to the home page so we will add like this so after adding on ng on init we need to define the object so that we can access it from the add employee page.html and uh, for http response uh, we need to import it from angular http common yep so this much only so on the save call it will print on the console and it will call the employee service add employee method in that it will pass the this dot employee and uh, then it will pass the this dot employee and the response uh, on the response we will put the message as details added for the employee dot employee name the toast controller and after uh that that toast controller we are just uh, navigate our route to home page okay and uh, we need to update our employee details page.html also so that we will get the form and uh, on the click on the button it will route my request so this i think this one is the above one add employee page.html so in that we have created a form edit form that uh, id as the ng form and ng submit we are going to call the same method which we have already defined in add employee page.ts this one save method and uh, then uh, this like uh, emp we have declared here on ng on init you can see this uh, dot emp equals to new employee so this emp is already initialized so we are saving the data in the emp emp id then emp name and depth name and this we are just uh, like putting as the read only as because uh, in the hibernate i have uh, made it as the sequence so in the sequ on the sequence it will get added in the database but we have made it the two fields are the required and uh, as the it is everything is the invalidate then uh, like a valid then uh, it will save the details and it will call the function okay so just save it and it will uh, restart the compile like it will compile the all the files and we'll get our the latest code 
so it compiled successfully now let me add the details so just click on add the plus button so this is the read only we are not able to add anything but on the name we can provide the name so let me provide the Arjun and department as the marketing just save it it is uh, detail added for Arjun we are getting the notification and inside save method but uh, you can see here Arjun is not getting populated but uh, if you see in the hibernate and you can able to see that add employee using the post saving it select uh, hibernate next sequence and insert queries are so fire so just uh, need to refresh this page and uh, at the place of 16 we will get uh, now 17 data so it will hit my hibernate database and it will give me the details of the 17 employees So details loaded successfully and you can see 17 data are populated and Arjun is here okay so we have added the employee details so in the entire video what we have done we have first we have created the all the pages required for the add employee inside the employee directory and then we have added the routing inside the app routing module.ts file so so whenever the add employee request uh, like uh, add uh, employee uh, mapping will come it will load my add employee module and on that basis of that uh, like uh, then we have created the service method add employee service method where we are passing the employee details in the using the HTTP post method and uh, in after that we have uh, updated the app add employee page.ts where we have created a blank employee like uh, we have created an object uh, we have initialized it and uh, then we have called the employee service method add employee and we have passed this dot emp and this dot emp will have the details by using the form only because we have defined it here as the emp dot emp id emp dot emp name emp, emp dot depth name and we have called the save function which will hit the save function of my add employee page.ts file and then we have pop, uh, like uh, we have print the toast here okay so in next video we will see the refresh button because uh, every time we can't uh, like uh, we, we can't direct directly refresh it we will uh, use the refresh uh, like uh, on the pull down we will uh, it will refresh and it will call the function again and it will give me the latest data okay so please subscribe to my channel friends thank you